another contract in the bag. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I'm Garbo, and today we're going to talk about a DMR build for Dahlia. But before we hop into that, if you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate if you do one of those things. I'm trying to upload content every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and I appreciate the like. It always motivates me to make more content. With that out of the way, let's talk about Dahlia, guys. We're going to... She's pretty much one of the best versatile rogues in this game because she's able to pretty much gain almost anybody's passive ability, which makes her almost valuable in every match that you play in Demolition. So her main ability is going to be called Danger Close, where she links to an ally for a full round. That ally can be revived by reactivating this ability within 30 meters. So you, whoever you link to, you kind of want to keep within your facility within 30 meters because if you're not within 30 meters, you're not going to be able to revive that teammate. And most likely that could be a crucial point in the match where that person gets up or not can help change the factor. So again, you want to be within 30 meters of that person because again, there's no point in having a support person to revive somebody if you're not going to be within the facility to revive that person. She's kind of like Saint. Saint can revive anybody with his drone where she can only link, whoever she links to is the only person she can revive, but she, you know, you can obviously crouch and revive people. Okay, so she becomes very versatile. This is where it makes her a very powerful rogue. It's going to be her passive. It's going to be the buddy system where she inherits the link that the ally that she has for the passive. So whoever she links to, she gains their passive, where that be Lancer's dodge reload ability or Glimpse's nearby detection ability, Trench's additional grenades, Rona's can't be detected, or Anvil's immune to flashbang immunity. There's just plenty of passive abilities that she can link to that makes her a very powerful rogue and a very strong in every situation especially when you're stacking on I don't know like a runway where you can gain two weapons or again if you need additional utilities linked to a trench so she has additional speed and an additional toughness on her stuff on her speed and toughness scale so she's a five percent faster in speed and she's a three percent tougher in combat which makes her hard to take down so she's a little bit tougher and a little bit faster than your average rogues her perk system is going to be shredder rounds crack shot blaster tenacity replenish energizer bounce back and lifeline it's a pretty good perk system i don't really care for a blaster pretty much and with dahlia because she only has grenades and that's pretty much the only exposure she has and blaster is not really that powerful in with her perk system so <clears throat> now I'm going to show you a screenshot and demolition of how it should look before you start purchasing weapons and utilities and how it should look after five rounds no strike of the imagination this is going to be the best perk build for you you know this was just the best perk build for me and again it's just a rough draft idea for people that are coming into the game that have no idea of what would be the direction they should go with this character Yes, I did pick the Devotion. Um, you don't have to run the Devotion. You can run the MXR because that's the original weapon. I just run the Devotion with her. Again, it's a DMR build, so all DMRs are going to be the same no matter which one you pick. So my perks that I picked was Crack Shot, Replenish, Bounce Back, and Lifeline with the Trophy System. Um, again, I'm trying to go for Lifeline first. I'll buy the Devotion, and then I'll just save my money. The reason I do that is because, again, this is a team effort, not a me effort. And being able to pick up your ally as fast as possible in any type of situation, especially in demolition, is crucial. So, again, Lifeline is usually the first thing that I purchase. Right behind that, I'm going to go with either buying Bounce Back, Replenish, or Crack Shot. Just because Bounce Back, you know, you got Legendary Bounce Back. Three seconds in, you're able to regain your health if you take a damage. And, honestly, Bounce Back is probably one of the strongest perks in the game. Especially the Legendary perk. You literally can just start reviving your health as soon as you get shot. And, again, just being able to have that perk when you're running Dahlia is superb. Replenish, because you know, obviously, downing people, you're going to get your ammo back into your magazine. And that's always a beautiful thing. Especially when you don't have to press the button yourself to do it. And then Crack Shot, because... You don't want to run crack shot with sniper rifles, but with any other gun, you want to run crack shot because crack shot is going to make you take so much damage, especially headshots. You know, when you're hitting 80 to 90, you know, damage on headshots, people are going to hide behind cover. They're not going to want to come out and deal with you if you're hitting them in the head for 90 something damage. Okay. And then I run trophy systems. Just because Dolly is supposed to be a support rogue, she's kind of a defender style. She's meant to be kind of back. So I have an APS system to avoid C4s, incendiaries, tear gas grenades. Any of that stuff is very, ver it's just great, especially in those situations where you don't need to be having utility on you. In most games nowadays, you're going to face a lot of utility spam. So APS just become a really powerful utility in the game. So again, this is kind of the build that I like to run with Dahlia. You know, you can change it up depending on situations. If you're running against a lot of explosive characters and you're not running APS, you can buy Tenacity and it will make you more immune to the to damage explosives. It doesn't guarantee that you'll live, 
but it'll make you a little harder to kill by explosives, okay? Or, you know, if you want shredder rounds to take down people's armor a little bit faster, especially when you're up against an anvil or a trish that have 75 additional armor, that's always a great to have. But again, I wouldn't use Blaster. Blaster is just not that great of a perk right now with her. It's again, it's only blue and she only has a grenade. It's kind of like, ha, if you want to do this, you can. And that's just how I look at it. So I don't want to do that because at the end of the day, my grenades are probably not going to hit as much as I'm going to be able to prevent, you know, sending your grenades from cooking me. So again, guys, y'all let me know in the comments section down below. What is y'all's perk build for Dahlia? What do y'all prefer to use? What DMR do you prefer to use? Do you like the Devotion? Do you like the Aaron? Do you like the MXR? Y'all let me know. So I'm just going to cut to the video and let y'all see the gameplay of it. And I'm going to hope to see y'all in the next video. Peace out, and y'all have a great and fantastic day. Get up! Good, Another contract in the back!